All right, sorry about that. We just had a weird thing happen with Twitch where we lost about our entire viewership. So I would, did not want to, uh, to go in in a low note with our two casters. But we're back, and we're growing. We're back up to almost a third of where we were. So without further ado, I present to you Mr. Alex Gooch. But first, don't be fooled by the rocks that he's got. He's still Benson, Benson from the block. Yep, we are here <laughs> live on main stage. Ben looked a little bit confused <laughs> by that introduction. <laughs> from the right, I get it. You took confused. the words right out of his mouth, essentially, so there. He was going to actually lead with that, Mike, until you took that away. <laughs> right? I got so upset. That was, that was my opening statement, and it just disappeared. Yeah, exactly. Hey, oh, well. But, yeah, the next game we've got up on main stage is going to be TCM coming up against Fariko Impact. And, you know, Fariko Impact looks so very strong. You know, obviously, Dallas champions, they've come over to, to Blackpool for Region 9, and they've looked... Pretty solid, you know, they've had a few shaky games, you know, going to last map a fair few times. See, now, going to last map a fair few times, Fariko are not alone in that. Virtually every yep. game has gone 3-2. I mean, we just saw our main stage previously at 3-1. Now, I think Epsilon were, well, I think they only had themselves to blame for that. They were up yep. like 80 points and then managed to choke um, an extensive lead and, of course, dropped down into the loser bracket to Team Cloud there. That was a, a good win for those. Cloud looking very strong. Guaranteed top very three strong. placement for those. Yeah, And that's actually uh, Shane's first ever top three at EGL. Yeah, despite fact. him being a highly, highly ranked player oh within yeah. one the... Of, uh, one of the best players in Europe. Uh, exactly. Out. And yet this is his first top three at EGL. So congratulations to him. Obviously, Madcat hasn't placed outside of the top three at EGL now in two years. That was it. was. I think it was EGL four the last time that he actually placed outside of the top three. Oh, so that nice. is... Five EGLs ago. That's a long time ago. Exactly. That's, a, that's a good little record Madcat's got going on there as well. And, you know, Josh, he seems to have found form. Obviously, last week at iSeries, both me and you were saying, you know, James bonding a little bit, a few 007s <laughs> coming out. You, you know, had to bring that up, didn't I you, Ben? Of course <laughs> I had to bring it up. I'm never going to let him forget it. Like, never, never am I ever going to let him forget that. But he's, he's picked up his form now, and he's playing a lot, lot better. And he really seems to be that Josh that we all know and love, you know, back from the Modern Warfare 3, where he just used to be one of the best SMGs in the world at that time. And now he seems to have found form and Cloud really look like they could do a little bit of damage. Obviously, they're going to play the winner of this game a little later on. A lot of people really want to see that for Eco That is, of course, going to be the uh, that's going to be the winner bracket final. Yep, it will. It's so the, the winner of this game goes on to face Team Cloud in the winner bracket final. That guarantees them a top three placement, and that guarantees them a share of the nine thousand pound prize pool, which we do have here for the Turtle Beach Spring Championship at EGL Nine in Blackpool. Bit of a tasty prize pool, that's to be honest. It is indeed. This looks pretty Massive good. thank you to our sponsors for making all of this possible. Of course, Rejo 42, coffees. Oh, that's convenient placement. I like yeah. the product placement. I've got that it there good. ready. That was good, <laughs> that was good. Like Their that. mochaccinos are to die for. And I don't normally like coffee. I was going to have a hot chocolate. I pressed the wrong button, really? believe it or not. They're on the it, opposite side of the machine. Though. Yeah, it's been the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. And obviously Sorry to my girlfriend if she's watching. Just no Coffee's you better than you. You can't, you can't say that on street. Oh, dear me. Well, anyway, as well, thank you. Massive, massive thank you to Turtle Beach. I'm actually in the 2v2. Are you in the 2v2, Tom? I didn't enter. I felt that Good, I it would be to unfair play. to everybody else oh, really? if oh, I were okay. to play. That, I mean, that's why I cast as well. If I competed, it, it just, yeah, it's I an mean, unfair yeah. advantage. It, it really would. I mean, you know, just considering how good you are at this game. Exactly. It would... Yeah, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. But yeah, I'm actually going to be in that tournament later on. But massive thank you to Turtle Beach. I mean, we're actually using the uh, the ACUs that they've got here today. All the players using them on main stage. Yep, on the main stage. Well, which is this cool looking little box right this here. This is what enables us to do the uh, to do the listenings that you have been yep. able to experience. And I'm sure there is a massive call for a listening of Furico Impact at some point. I think we will be able to get that going under on the hard point. Yeah. Uh, because, of course, that is the most action-packed game. You always hear the comments. I mean, I was at Sabi Hani's guys when they were playing earlier on, and their communication is just second. It's so on it's point. So it's on unbelievable. Point. Everything, everything that needs to be called out is called out. Anything that doesn't need to be, they don't even bother wasting their breath. It's just pure call-outs, and that's exactly how they were able to set up just so well. As uh, so we're just waiting for the game to get underway, all the players just going to be joining the lobby right about now. But, yeah, as we were saying, big thank you to Still Beach. We've got the new... Uh, 7 Series headset, which is actually what's on the yeah, display. Yeah, the XP7 so is comfy. actually being used so, so over. Comfy. Very good headset as well. Over on the Turtle Beach. And they've got a nice little mock-up. Two screens opposite each other. They have had a Call of Duty tournament being played throughout this weekend. It was yesterday, I think it was Torres and Rush yeah, won they, that two yeah, versus yeah, two. Yeah, and they will face off against the winner of today's tournament. Uh, it's going to be me, by the way. Okay. <laughs> to face <laughs> off against Ben. Who is your partner? <laughs> um, Liam. Uh, Liam. The, the, the uh, community yeah. manager for Activision. Yes. Okay. So 
He had a bit of a shaky day, not gonna lie, if he's out there in the crowd somewhere. He let me down first game. He went double neg. You are only as strong as your weakest player, my friend. Words of wisdom from the Gucci. Exactly. That was, that was good. But we, we, we'll win. I'm, I'm confident. Well, we'll, we'll definitely win. By gonna confident, I mean we're probably not going to win. We're probably not going to win a first Carry game. them to victory, Ben. Well, I tried using right shields, but it didn't work. Because it's anything goes rule set. Do you know what I really want to do? A cast as TV2. I think we we amazing. should actually get that on the we go later should, on. Obvi obviously, Rel be shouldn't be even included in that because I don't even think he's capable of holding a controller <laughs> properly. <laughs> so we'll get it underway later on in the day. That should be, it should be good fun, I think. As it would draw straws as well to see who teams with who. So it's fair. Because, you know, it needs to be fair. Needs if be it's legit. me and you, it easily walk Yeah, it. of course. <coughs> unlucky Bryce, unlucky Tom. Just going to throw that out there. But the game, what are your predictions for this next game that we're going to have? See, I asked this out on Twitter. We've also got it going at a quick poll on our Facebook page, of course, the European Gaming League. And a lot of people saying for Eco Impact. But, of course, my Twitter has uh, defied the odds. Gone mainly with TCM. A lot of people saying a 3 2 TCM on really? my personal Twitter. No. However, European Gaming League saying, I think it was a 50 to 2 yeah. at one point, saying for <laughs> Eco Impact. So a little bit different between the Facebook and the Twitter viewers. True, very true. I mean, for me, TCM, they, they came in looking very, very strong. Obviously, last week they were I Series. Didn't have the best result against Prophecy in that grand final. They, they pretty much got whitewashed, if we're honest, for like lack of a better word. I mean, you know, you, you were actually casting that game. Yeah. They just didn't look as strong. Then the first game they had against Prophecy, 3-0 them. Exactly. Easy. I mean, I bet they were, just, week. they were just thinking, why couldn't we do that last week, I'm sure. But they've come into this event. They are playing here for a guaranteed top three placement. If they were to lose here, of course, they've got a guaranteed top six. They'll drop yep. down into the loser bracket and continue from there. They can, of course, still get to the grand final through the double elimination tournament process. It's worth mentioning as well, we still have three Rico All-Stars. They're in the loser's bracket right now. But they're actually they're looking tech. really strong. They are, they are looking so, so good. I mean, Rush... <laughs> See, it's when crazy is on for form me. It is cra crazy cra for me. Crazy flag runs on CTF. Honest God, one of the best things to watch ever. <laughs> really a fantastic player. And what, what I, I tried to bend my knee. Oh, do you, do you, I think you should explain to everyone in the venue and on the stream what you did to your knee because I, I laughed. Okay, essentially what <laughs> happened is the side that TCM are on, currently sat on main stage, don't have any stairs, but I just tried to be cheeky because I couldn't really be bothered to walk all the way around. So, so, I tried so to just let, let's clarify, you couldn't be bothered walking an extra 10 feet? Yeah, it's my own fault, yep. I'll be honest. Okay, good. Uh, I tried to just climb up, and as I brought myself up, brought my legs up, essentially what I wanted to place on the top of the stage, I just hit the bottom of it, uh, bringing it up, and uh, I think You've my really knee is quite swollen now. Nice, nice. Well, you should get some ice. Ice, ice, baby. Do, 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 no, I don't think that's why the people tuned in here. They, of course, are tuned in for this epic Call of Duty matchup that we are going to be having. The Ferico free for all has actually finished now, so we are going to be getting things underway, which is going to be raid on hard point, first of all. Um, I'm just going to ask a production whether we're going to be going into a listening straight off the bat, or did you want to do it halfway through the round? Halfway through the round. We'll do it we'll, halfway we'll, through we'll, the round. We call the shots now. Okay, we'll, we'll it's not down side. to production, it's nah, down to myself to. Yeah. and Ben then. Sounds good. That, so it's better that way. As the game is now actually just being set up, so we can actually join the lobby. I think it's going to be... It'll be Karma there as he's hosting the hard point on Raid. Or is it Jake? Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to go with Jake. Well, TCM oh, technically cool. have the highest seed and the highest seed does it host, team. Right, th this is something I was speaking to someone yesterday about. Host online, does it actually... Some players it? say it does, and then the more experienced players that I speak to say, no, it means nothing. But it's more of the... I don't want to say average players, but sort of like the middle range players seem to think it does. Now, I don't know if that's just them trying to find excuses for when they die or <laughs> I'm not really too sure. Well, I've joined that game and I'm hoping for the best. You, <coughs> you can, can see just there the see, TCM boys. Yeah, the TCM boys. That is the panoramic shot from behind them. We've got uh, Josh, formerly teamed with Rich and uh, Flux. He's just sat on that left hand side. We've got Will, R&B the owner of the Enigma organization. And of course, we have got Mac of the uh, Curse team in this tournament, unfortunately dropping down and placing in the top 12. They were expecting a lot better, so I don't think they're really the best pleased. And now a quick look at the Farico lineup. We have, of course, got Parasite there, Karma, Miracle, and I'm not sure where Killer's gone, but Killer will be sat on that left-hand side. But then uh, Capo, team coach, manager, useless guy that stands behind them. <laughs> if he hears you say, he's a lot bigger than you, Gucci, I would not say that out loud. He, I, I'm happy he hasn't heard you say that for your own well-being. And myself. But in, in terms of this game, what are your predictions? 
I'm oh. going to go with a Frico <laughs> Impact 3 2. I'll go with Impact 3 0. You're going to go 3 yeah, 0. They're, they're so dominant. They really, really are. And I think it's been said as well quite a lot on Twitter the only European team that can really put them to bed is going to be Cloud. See, Cloud are so, so strong. I really they're do want good. to see them play. Cloud them, are really looking admit. good. I would love to see a, a Cloud Impact final personally. They are both looking We very, need a very Cloud strong. Impact final where essentially all of Cloud are playing at their absolute best. Yeah. When they are all on top form. They are just such an amazing team. You see time and time again where three players sort of stand out and yeah. one player has a really bad game and that sort of lets them down. But when Cloud are all on point, they will be a force to be reckoned with. Oh, they really do. As Parasite said himself in a interview on the deserto.net. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, okay, that's interesting. But I mean, like we said earlier on, can't count out Prophecy. Can no, no, of course. Bracket? They are they are flying we through. I think we thought they were going to have a very very bad uh, weekend, didn't we? Initially, they started off so f so slow. I mean, really did not look like the prophecy that won I series just a week ago. But they picked things up now a little bit, and they're starting to get, gather a bit of momentum. All stars as well from the Frico organization. They're in the losers bracket as well. They've got a lot of momentum right now. They really are playing very well. So, wouldn't and surprise speaking me. Speaking of momentum, prophecy are actually going to be facing off against Team Horizon. That's going to be in the yes. loser bracket round ten, I think it is. Yep, should be. And that should be over on the feature stages. That will be, but yeah, not few, for quite minutes. some time. I think uh, Mike B of the production, otherwise known as Smelly Moss, <coughs> said that that's going to be towards the end of this game. Okay. Well, for now, the player is just joining this lobby. Why is Mike B in the crowd and not on production? This could go horribly wrong. He's just enjoying, you know, casual cup of Rego 42. Has to be done. Nice. Gets nice. you through the day. It does. It does. I wonder what he's actually drinking. My best espresso. What what is your favourite drink from this? Oh, he's gone for mochaccino just like Told you. Told you, so so. I'm a good. hot chocolate fan. I'm not gonna lie. In fact, in fact, oh no, no, I don't have it. I just had one earlier on. They're so 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 good, so very nice. But predictions for you, from yourself. What was it you said? You said three two. I said three two impact. Three You're two going impact. three why, nil. Why, so why is it you think the the CCM are going to be able to pick up? Like which maps do you actually reckon they're going to be able to pick up? Against right. Impact? So we are going to be having raid, cargo, standoff, Yemen, and express. Okay. So out of raid, cargo, and standoff, TCM of course would have to win at least one for it to go to yep. any further. I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with cargo, search, and destroy. If we see Rich snipe, then it does become a distinct possibility because Rich with that sniper rifle, we've seen it time and time again. He actually managed to pick off an ace with the sniper rifle. That was an um, eye series, wasn't it? Was it was yeah. amazing. It was one of the best sniping aces I've ever seen in my life from Rich. And it was just bang, headshot, bang, headshot, bang, headshot. The next thing you know, he gets the ace. Exactly. Absolutely phenomenal play from him. But, you know, when you... So you're saying they're going to lose search and destroy. But you look at the, the American lineup to our... Who to our are normally side, so regimented on the search and destroy. I know exactly what you're a, That's a bold statement right there. I mean, I love TCM. TCM, fantastic players, you know, great bunch of guys. But coming up against this Freako Impact lineup, they are going to have their work cut out for them. If, if they gather that momentum, then maybe they can cause a bit of an upset. Yep, for Jake, me, of course, still in the hunt of his first LAN win as well. Cursed. He is currently cursed. He's, he's only ever finished second cursed. at LAN. He has never actually won an event ever. Despite being highly regarded as <laughs> one, of the, about that. one of the <laughs> best players so in <laughs> Europe as well. <laughs> well, yep, he got called out. He's got a little smile on his face there, Jake. Furthest on your camera. Just trying to get Just a, a right to left there. We have got Monksy closest to your screen. Rich, followed by Flux and then Jake. Rich, of uh, uh, no, sorry, Flux, of course, using that XP7 headset provided by Turtle Beach here for the main stage. Yep. You can just see their audio mixer units on the top. Yep. And it looks as 